guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be creating this super glossy uh, modern makeup look for a contemporary sari look this is a very monochromatic uh, sort of a makeup look a lot of burgundy and red undertones um, so everything is super shiny and glossy and dewy in this makeup look so if you want to know how i created this modern sari makeup look then please do continue watching so like I usually do, I have cleansed my face using the Derma Vive Hydra Cleanser which is amazing um, even if you have sensitive skin types, it is very very mild and gentle on the skin. After that, I'm going to apply my moisturizer which is the Mutiderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which I absolutely love underneath my makeup which you guys know. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that moisturizer all over the face and neck and really massage it well into the skin. Then I took my Miss Claire eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, fill in any gaps using the pencil side. This is a very, very good inexpensive eyebrow pencil. I really do love it. After that, I'm going to take my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in the shade True Beige which is a couple of shades lighter than my own complexion and apply that as a base on the eyelids as well as to clean under the bottom area of my eyebrows to make it look more sharper. Then I took my pack concealer blending brush and blended it out using a gentle dabbing motion. For eyeshadow, I took my Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Eyeshadow Palette which is a stunning brown and rosy toned eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of deeper shades so it works amazing on dusky complexions as well. So I took that uh, warm matte brown which has a hint of burgundy to it. So I'm just applying that all over the crease uh, using a fluffy blending brush. I'm also gonna apply the same eyeshadow to the outer V of my eyes to slightly define the outer corners as well. Then I'm going to take this beautiful metallic uh, shimmery eyeshadow. This has a bit of a duochrome effect to it. It has a bit of a purple shift. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that directly using my ring finger because I find uh, fingers work best for Huda Beauty shimmer eyeshadows. So that's what I did. Uh, moving on to the face, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Primer and applying that to the main areas of the face and blend it out using my fingertips. This is such a beautiful uh, primer, especially if you have dry skin, you would absolutely love it. Even though this is made for drier skin types, I really love using this primer whenever I want that dewy glowy finish um, on my base makeup. For foundation, I'm using the NYX Total uh, Control Pro Foundation. This has been reformulated and relaunched again in India on Nykaa. This is one of my most favorite foundations. I absolutely love it. Uh, so the shade that I have is called Mahogany. So I'm just using and dropping a little bit of that foundation to the main areas of the face and using a stippling brush to blend out the foundation. This is such a pretty uh, skin-like finish foundation but it does have a lot of coverage as well so a little bit goes a long long way and it completely looks like a second layer of the skin. It just blends so beautifully on the skin and so long lasting I just absolutely love it. Again gonna take the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer the same shade and I'm just gonna use that to conceal and highlight the under eyes as well as the center of the face as well. Again, this concealer is a bit on the dewier side and blends so effortlessly. I'm using the same pack concealer blending brush to blend out the concealer. To set my face, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Powder. This is basically like a translucent powder. It is very, very finely milled and super lightweight on the skin and is 
almost like a transparent powder so i'm using that to bake underneath my eyes as well as around the mouth area where i tend to crease um, again i'm going to pick up this beautiful rose goldish uh, duochrome shade and apply that um, on the lower lash line i'm just doing this in a different way i usually use mattes but today i went for a metallic look on the lower lash line again i'm going to pick up the same uh, deep brown matte eyeshadow that i used earlier on a pencil brush and ever so slightly deepening up the outer corners of the lower lash line once that is done i'm just going to brush off all of the excess powder away from the face and set the rest of the face as well using a light layer of the same loose powder Then I took the K Beauty um, Kajal in the shade Spade. This is a very inexpensive and jet black, long-lasting Kajal. I'm using that to line my lower waterline and upper waterline as well. For mascara, I took my Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara, and I'm just gonna add a lot of layer of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. To contour my face, I'm using the Nika K Contour Duo in the shade Dark. I'm going to use the lighter shade from the duo and use that to chisel out my features such as the hollows of the cheeks, the perimeters of the forehead, the jawline and the sides of the nose. For blusher, I'm using this beautiful glowy dewy blusher from Milani. This is in the shade Red Vino. This is their baked blusher. and it is extremely pigmented so a little bit goes a long long way so i'm just applying that to the apples of the cheeks uh, i'm going to go for a burgundy um, slash red toned look for today so that is why i'm choosing such shades for highlighter i'm using this gorgeous intense highlighter from mars i'll put the uh, details in the description box i can't really remember the exact name of it so yeah, i'm just applying that to the tops of the cheekbones um on the bridge of the nose the tip of the nose the usual areas that i like to highlight for lips i'm using the chambord lip liner in a brown shade and i'm just going to use that to slightly overdraw my lips um this is a nice uh deep brown lip liner for dusky complexions and it is very very creamy as well For lipstick, I'm using this gorgeous uh, metallic lipstick from uh, Wet n Wild. Unfortunately, the applicator is broken, but um, yeah, that's what I'm using. It's kind of old, but I really, really wanted to use this lipstick for this look. It's a very, very stunning and unique color, especially for dusky complexions. I also added these Fume Beauty lashes in the style Fat. of camera these are really nice dramatic false eyelashes and they are very very comfortable on the eyes to fix my makeup and set everything in place i'm using the nyx dewy finish setting spray and this is the final finished look it's very modern very dewy and you can rock this with your modern sari looks i absolutely love the metallic and dewy finish that this makeup has so yeah this is the makeup look for today So this is it for today's video you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. 
do let me know your uh, suggestions for videos on my channel i'll definitely consider them make sure to follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box i also do bridal makeup within chennai so if you're willing me uh, to do your makeup for your big day please feel free to reach out to me via email i'll leave that in the description box as well that's it for today's video take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye